Hi, it's Sandy Rask. This is the Food 2.5 Kitchen, and it's later in the evening. Earlier tonight, I did the um, the full sweet potato um, cook-off. So if you want to know the recipes, please do check into um, into that video. I, I went through three different techniques, and they, and they look actually really good, and they taste even better. So what I wanted to do was, um, when we ended the last video, I was putting the third dish, third of three dishes, into the oven, and you didn't get to see the finished product. So let's go back to, um, to what we had. Now, a lot of these have been eaten because, you know, the fam has come home. But this is the, um, the roasted sweet potato with um, a little bit of sea salt and with, um, with cranberries in it. And let me just tell you, the, um, the warm sweet potato on it actually softened those cranberries. They're beautiful in it. So if you do nothing else, if you just want to do a, um, you know, do a roasted sweet potato, it's a beautiful thing. Then we had these gorgeous Hasselback potatoes. Um, so those are cooked that are, they're rubbed in coconut oil and sea salt. Um, they're cooked, you know, after you do all the, the little cuts. And then when they come out of the oven, you do a, um, a honey and lime juice marinade that goes over the top. It's so, so good. Look at this one, totally eaten. Uh, but the last one, that last one with Harissa, I wanted to show that to you. So when it came out of the oven, this is what it looked like. So it took just a little under an hour. It was probably about 50 minutes. Oven was at 425. Um, I had it on convection because um, because I have a convection setting. So if you don't have a convection setting, it's all right. It just may take a little longer than 50 minutes. It'll probably take closer to that hour mark. Um, and then what I did was um, at the halfway point, at about 30 minutes, I did an extra marinade of, of um, the harissa, the olive oil, and the um, and a little bit of vinegar mixture so it just went over the top of it again oh my god this is so so good so this is just so you know a little bit spicy so just know what you're going to get um, going into it but the bite of it is just soft it's cooked through just like the other two versions um, but at the very back of it you get a little bit of spice so mm, this is perfect no need to take that skin off the skin cooks down into it beautifully, and it is so gorgeous. And the uh, the pistachios in that crust, oh, it's so good. This one actually is one that um, that we're gonna definitely do again. This one is begging, not for turkey, but a piece of steak. So for my vegan friends, you can eat it just as is, but for everybody else, I'd consider putting um, some sliced flank steak or something with that. So that's really good. Then I wanted to show you one other thing. So the other night, let's see, it's Sunday. So on Thursday, we did mushrooms. We did mushrooms in that um, balsamic vinegar with the pomegranate juice. Those were so good. Um, I had some of those left over and I diced them up. And then um, I had some of that tofu ricotta cheese left over. So what I did was take a, um, take a crust out of my uh, freezer. This is a cauliflower crust. I put down a layer of the tofu cheese then I put a bunch of the mushrooms and onions over the top of it. And then my son put cheese over the top of it. But I think the ricotta cheese came out so perfectly. You don't need this cheese on top. This could be a perfectly happy um, dish that's, um, uh, that's vegan friendly. What I would do is I'd leave this cheese off and put fresh parsley over the top of it. All right, so here's another use of those, um, the mushrooms that we showed you. And, um, and please, if you get a chance, try making the tofu ricotta cheese. It's my secret weapon now. Um, I'm really just absolutely shocked. And my family that swears off a of tofu absolutely loves that ricotta cheese. So that's it. Down below this are all the recipes from tonight's sweet potatoes. And please check back in with us. Um, we have dressing on Tuesday night and I'm just checking my list. And then Thursday again, we're gonna have Brussels sprouts. All right, hope you have a great night. Mwah. Yeah, talk to you soon.